Others mm. say he's irritating. <laughs> Most people think he's an ass. <laughs> but you love him. Who I is do. it? Yeah, it's Adam Hart Davis. Oh. Yeah. yeah. That's an interesting <laughs> mixed response there. I, I think I think he's terrific. You really... Fantastic, fun broadcaster who actually tells you quite a lot of interesting things about you know how the Victorians made things out of steam. <laughs> right, right. Well, he does. He does. Yeah. So we've got a clip here. I mean, uh, this is a clip you've chosen to, to prove what a great presenter he is. Yeah. In their unending search for self-improvement, the Victorians patented hundreds of thousands of inventions. But for me, there's one clean winner. <laughs> the Velocipede Shower. And the wonderful thing about this piece of apparatus is it allows a chap to get fit and get clean at the same time. I've seen a European version of that, and it's pretty hot. <laughs> but uh, he does. He also he does feel like a, very much like a kids presenter, an old old sort of fashioned kids presenter, doesn't he? Yeah, I, I suppose there's an extent to which he's kind of uh, yeah, kids presenter trapped in an adult presenter's career. But I, yeah, I, I, I like the fact that he's like a kids presenter. He's like the right sort of kids presenter. He's like Johnny Ball, the, the kind of mad uncle type of kids presenter that you used to get 10, 15 years ago mm. and has now been replaced by the cool elder sibling kids presenter. And I think that's actually moved completely in the wrong direction. And that actually kids, I, you know, my memory of when I was a child, I got on a lot better with a sort of fun middle-aged man than with some sort of sneering... <laughs> Uh, you know, not... <laughs> Bloody hell! You know what, you know what, they're, in, you know what they're implying? I, mean, uh, I don't even want to think if, about if that, it, David. Well, it, it, you know, it wouldn't be a laughing matter if that was true. And now I suddenly break down and this turns into Trisha. Yeah. <laughs> For God's sake. No. No, but... I, did you go to public point, school? That, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did go to public school, yeah. Uh, um, Oh, the flashback. Yes. <laughs> but but it's, it's a serious point that actually the idea of, the idea of uh, children and middle-aged men sort of enjoying each other's company and middle-aged men sort of being fond of children, but not in a dirty way, that's, that's apparently, oh, no, 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 they, there must be a teenager or 21, otherwise we assume they're a pedo. Well, that's, that's terrible, isn't it? We didn't assume that Johnny Ball was a pedo. <laughs> And how do you know that these 17-year-olds might not be pedos as well? <laughs> I, don't, I don't suppose you could possibly get to a point where nobody's allowed to present children's programmes because exactly. they, <laughs> they might be a pedo. Just have to be presented by other children yeah. or younger children in the target market. <laughs> <laughs> so you have five-year-olds presenting shows for teenagers. Yeah. So that, yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> so that, they can't... So if the teenagers fancy the five-year-old, it's the teenagers that are at fault, not the mm. person employed by the television channel. Yeah. <laughs> It's complicated, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's very complicated. <laughs> I say we've, we've got to get a grip. It's, it's all right. It's all right for adults to like children. It doesn't mean they're pedos. <laughs> there are different sorts of liking. I, I just hope... <laughs> I just hope that I... this piece is never used as evidence. <laughs> Yeah. I think you've got a very good point, but yeah. we could edit it really badly yeah. for you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even mention it, David, these days. No, I know. I've made that I thought a fairly uncontentious point, that not all adults are paedophiles, but yeah. apparently that means I'm hiding something. <laughs> no, I, I, think, I think you're right. I think, it is a I think it's part of the hysteria. I think you're right. And I think it, it's, it's good to have older people talking to children because what you've got now, like you said, is, is, is this whole cooler, older sibling thing. Mm. Dick and Dom. We've got a little bit of them here. You can watch bums. Yeah, doing this. Go, go and watch them. Go and watch them. Watch them. Go and watch them bums. bums. Go. Bum, bum stick. <laughs> <laughs> See, Adam Hart Davis couldn't get away with that. <laughs> and they've told us nothing about the nature of electricity. <laughs> <laughs> And, and it's just all this sort of, let's be anarchic, children like anarchy. Mm. Well, that's quite a bad way to bring up children, to be anarchists. <laughs> yeah. You know, they're our future. We, we need to get them in the military. No, I don't mean that. Yeah. I can see you, just you've got the hair, just a little moustache. <laughs> <laughs> but they are, they are, they are quite, they're quite oh, annoying. God. Fascist <laughs> pedo. <laughs> David Mitchell came on and came out as a fascist and a pedophile. <laughs>
Bloody hell. Um, but they are, they're, they're, some of the stuff they do is quite unpleasant. There's a clip of them here, and they're just humiliating an old man, but not in the sort of nice Catherine Zeta-Jones type way, where there's... <laughs> you get something in return. It's, look at this, look at this. <laughs> this could be classic McCourt here. Moving in. Gently. Gently, gently. Is it on? He's making sure there it's on, tentatively. Have a good day. <laughs> That's horrible, that, you isn't You know, it? yeah, he's just a nice, nice old man. He smiled. He didn't think, oh, horrible young person. Yeah. You know, you didn't fight in the war. He was smiling, bit of company. I've been patted on the back by a young person. Maybe I'll make a new friend. And then he realised at the end, oh, I've been mocked. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's the mockery again, I see. <laughs> Better go home and beat Deirdre. <laughs> so you're a pedo. You're a <laughs> OK, David, if you are such a big fan of Adam Art Davis, you won't complain if we show you a bit more of the shower scene. I, I would enjoy that. You'd like yeah. that. Is it best if I go and watch it privately or yeah. shall we stay? No, feel free. I think you've already, you know, shown people a lot of what you like. So I think yeah. if, you, <laughs> if you drop your trousers and knock one out, nobody'd be surprised. <laughs> See you after the break. Yeah. Magnificent machine. No home should be without one. Welcome back to TV Heaven Telly Hell. I'm here with David Mitchell, star of The Peep Show. We're talking about what he loves and loathes on TV. Now, another surprising favourite of yours is the, I would say, appalling 1970 sitcom Terry and June. <laughs> well, uh, it's, firstly, it's 1970s and 1980s, and I don't think it's appalling either. I think, I think it's much overlooked, and it was a really important show for me. In, because it was a, one of the first sitcoms I watched regularly, and it was the first time I realised that what's funny is when things go wrong, and that you sort of turn a, situ a normal situation that's, you know, boring adult television, as I then saw it, into a funny situation by just having a fuck-up. And, and that's, you know, from the titles onwards, that's what Terry and June mm. does. And so I've always been tremendously fond of it, and it was just a really big show for me realising what comedy is. Right, I was about yeah. 27. Yeah, <laughs> and the opening titles particularly represent that, don't they? Yeah, yeah. They, they set this up. So have a look at the opening titles. <laughs> <laughs> 